I recently went to a birthday dinner and it went uh, really well. Actually, if you're ever in the Houston area and you're looking for a great restaurant to go to, go to Joy Uptown. It was a really great birthday dinner. We had a great time. Restaurant was great. Food is A1. But anyways, it made me think about this other birthday dinner that I went on and it just, every now and then it pops in my head because I'm just like, oh, the audacity. Just anyways. So uh, without giving too many details for the sake of people figuring out exactly who it is. But anyways, I went to this birthday dinner as a friend of the birthday boy, right? So the actual birthday boy, you know, had a nice mix of friends, but it was very clear uh, very early on that he actually invited at least four different girls who I, they all thought that they were going to be the birthday boy's date. Um, like I said, I was just, I, I didn't know the birthday boy directly. I was there as a friend of a friend. Um, so I don't know why these girls all thought that they were the date. Not like, oh, we're all going to be collectively, like, it, this was not like a poly situation. It was all like these girls showed up, uh, you know, dressed to the nines and very, um, face was just cracked when they realized they were not the lady of the evening. Not like that, but you get what I'm saying. And I just thought, what did this guy say to each of these girls to make them think that? Because there's no way that all four of these girls got the wrong idea. So I'm just like, did he not care? Did Was he just didn't word it correctly when he invited these girls or was he just like let me just invite all of them and maybe one of them will show up maybe he didn't think them they would all show up but anyways so they were all there um one of them was pretty like over it um she sat through dinner and she pretty much promptly left after that three girls went with us to like the next like little um club party type of situation and all night these three girls kind of duking it out for this guy's attention and I'm like what are we doing here <laughs> mind you this was not you know, I hate when people say mind you but this was this was not something that was like my teenage years or even my 20s this is relatively recently and I'm just like I'm not sure how old these girls were but at least late 20s at least and I'm like, we're old enough. Why are we comp competing over a boy's attention? What are we doing? And it's just like, it was kind of embarrassing. So um, we go to the next place after that. And another girl, she she's like, you know, I, I guess she figured I've had enough competition. So then the last two standing, they just duke it out all night until there was just one standing. And I'm just like, girl, what did you win? What did you win? What, what, was, the, what was the prize? here um anyways fast forward the girl who won the guy um she ended up using the birthday boy they started kind of dating she ended up just using him so i don't know if you could say he got what he deserved i don't know but anyways it was just very um i felt bad for them but also it was kind of funny but also it's like what would you do in that situation like if you show up somewhere thinking you're someone's date and then like you're clearly not like would you even stay for the dinner would you just like keep it cute and leave after the dinner like the first girl did or like would you fight to the end like the last girl standing um me personally depending on if they saw me arrive at the dinner or not i i best i would probably do is just be cordial at the dinner and then uh, politely excuse myself as soon as possible as soon as dinner was over and just go because <sighs> my pride my ego my self-respect i could never i'm so sorry but anyways yikes anyways tell me your uh fun birthday dinner stories down on the bottom okay bye